Here we are. So I actually accidentally forgot to restart the recording and uh, sort of killed the other zombies that were in here. No. I just kind of moved myself back into position for consistency's sake. Well, fair enough. The zombies that only become active as soon as you do the camera change right there. Because of course. Seems like another dick move. Also, a strangely fancy looking laboratory. Well, lobby? Study? I don't know what you would call that room next to the lab itself. Mm, I don't know. The pre lab? Could be a post lab. Outer labin? Okay, Chris, got it. There was blood near the door. Get on with it. Game is trying to tell you something. Something important is going to happen in this room. Like, you're going to read another file. Yeah. Virus Research Report. Work continues on the T. Veronica virus, which I extracted from the Queen Ant. The more research I conduct on it, the more I'm impressed about how much potential it has. As you may have read in the previous report. I have finally implanted the virus into my own body and discovered how to utilize its powers. I will avoid making the mistake I made with my father. I will suppress the activity of the virus at an ultra-low temperature so that my cells will change slowly. I suppose that... Unless it's one of those viruses that's like, uh, cold, nice. My calculations indicate that it will take 15 years before my body will gain immunity and become able to coexist with the virus. Slow burn. Until then, I have no choice but to trust the capsule that I will be in to the inept but loyal soldier ant that is my brother. For me to obtain unlimited power, some risks must be taken. Sorry, need to be taken. Same difference. Close enough. The gist is the same. When I awaken, I will be the queen, and the T. Veronica virus will be unleashed upon the entire world by my children. Every last creature on Earth will exist to serve me. gonna have 400 babies. Yeah. At that time, the world will achieve the perfect ecosystem, just like the anthill, but a much grander scale. Alexia Ashford. So that's something of a paradox, because I'm pretty sure in her mind, the rest of the world already exists to serve her. So she's just, like, following through, really. Following through on her belief system. I wonder if you could actually just gain immunity from to a virus by freezing yourself in carbonite for 15 or however many years. I thought that was even then, like, it would probably just go back to what it was doing as soon as you thought of. Pretty sure, yeah. Insert the cube! It's like, oh god, he's dead. Wait, who the fuck is this? Hey, that'd be my response. Um, yeah. He seems so shocked to find a dead body. It's just like, okay, you've seen how many corpses since you started on this grand adventure of yours? Maybe it's because it's a, not a zombie corpse. You've obtained the Alfred's Jewels. It's not his family, Jules, is it? I mean, it's Jules that he got for being part of his family. Hmm. That's a poor man. So if you want to get really technical, it is a family jewel. That poor, poor man. Singular. Well, I guess he wasn't really... Yeah. Not really poor, either. Not too. Fucking tiny-ass ants.
Fucking ants. Who do such mm, small mitigating damage to this league. Why have them there other than to be a dick? This looks like that room in Metal Gear Solid. Like right before the hallway uh, where you find the ninja's victims. Kinda. Just having flashbacks of like Japanese subway announcers. I want subway, I'm hungry. I just had a blizzard. Well, it's like halfway done, but it's not a meal. I'm not like you and Aaron and eat like drink protein shakes and count it as meals. I'm a real man, I eat real meals. Like pizza. Also, I forgot coming up here, I forgot to grab the knife. Which I am going to need shortly. For a thing, no doubt. Yes, kind of an important thing. So watch me go over the knife not once, but like three times. <laughs> I have two knives too, so that oh makes yeah, it one's clear, isn't it? That makes it even worse. Cause like you can kinda tell it's like I know I need something, but what is it? As I hover on the combat knife. Anyway. I wonder how cold the rest of the facility is. Cause I mean like if there's no frost on anything it probably can't be like super cold. Yeah, it has to be above freezing. I mean that still has an excuse. Everybody wearing a t-shirt in the freaking Antarctic, but, uh... Well, I mean, like, Chris and Wesker kind of, like, dress tactically except for their exposed arms, but... Otherwise, it's fine. It makes a little bit more sense in Wesker's case, because he's probably like, whatever. Yeah. Oh, look who it is. Who could have done Chris, this? like, gross. Bleh. <laughs> Alexia. Hey. That is how I dispose of insignificant bugs. Said the spider to the fly. The spider how said no such thing. <laughs> Death by a pretty, pretty horny spider, I guess. Yeah. I'm also kind of slightly grossed out by his weird, like, pulsating butt. Yeah, like, at least the tarantula enemies in, like, Remake um, were kind of the cute, fuzzy looking spiders. There is nothing cute about a spider unless there is a woman attached to the upper half. Oh no, poison! Jumping spiders are adorable, I don't care what you say. Except for their gigantic fucking eyes. Look at how big its ass is! How can you miss? Nice shooting, Tex. And me, I thought it was poison, but no, I just got hit by... Poison... Spit? David Hyde Pierce, Alexander Pierce, one of these guys. You've obtained the Alexander's Pierce. I f how did they miss that one though? What uh, attached to a piercing? Not a. I mean, can you call it a pierce? I don't. No idea. I don't know. It's probably some weird ass piece of jewelry that we've never heard of. Well, it was an earring, so it can only really be a piercing. Well, why don't they call it an earring? Mm -hmm. They already used the word pierce, they were like three letters away. Just needed to apply the appropriate suffix. 
whatever. <sighs> That's something that bugs me. Yeah, it's... Weird. Odd translation. The only way I forgot the knife. <laughs> okay. I'm back for the knife. And I picked up some herbs on the way. It's fine because that's legal in some states now. Mostly just Colorado. I mean, unless it's medical. Some places do medical. Dang. I also kind of wonder how low a temperature those sliding doors are meant to work at. This is a fair question. It is, an, uh, it is Antarctica, so I guess it makes sense that it works at ultra low temperatures. Oh well, yeah, I'm sure all of the hardware in this place was designed to work in cold weather. That's why I went the wrong way again. I don't have to the direction of 3D games for some reason. Well... It doesn't help in this game that the camera angle constantly changes. Congratulations, uh, George Trevor. Like, your weird-ass designs are successful. And I can't fucking remember where I was going. You did it. You successfully confused me. I need to go in the safe for me, but there I am again. It's fine. Shitty looking skybox, though. Yeah, not realistic at all. I'm like, really, what's the point of the carousel? For the children to ride when they were children? A young Alfred and Alexia Ashford are just like Dad or brother. Father, can we have another toy besides the carousel? No. I don't know what happened. Barry! Where's Barry? Well, I'm sorry, but he's probably... He's probably watching. No. What is that? I'll go and check. Sounds like a guy who can't hit okay, the broad side of the barn. Okay, Dylan will stay in the hall in case of an emergency. Yeah, yes. Thinking about it, Chris, Chris was awfully ballsy going off on, without a gun. Take care. Like, sure, we were just attacked by zombie dogs. I dropped my gun, but here I am, going to go investigate somebody shooting at something without a gun of my own. Whoa, what the hell just happened? Where are we? Next time I ride a Burmax. <laughs> 